is the day. I'm going to pick up my bus. About to head off now. Coco is hiding. How do dogs know when you're leaving? I had to go and pick up my bus from Adelaide because last year I got the ceiling done. I wanted a beautiful wooden ceiling and within a few weeks there started to be gaps in between the pieces of wood. Apparently the wood had shrunk due to drying out a bit and the person that did it agreed to fix it up for me. Parents kindly said they would drive me to Adelaide so I could pick up my bus. My parents live on the same farm as me, a little walk through the scrub and I'm at their house which is very convenient. After a few hours of driving we made it to Adelaide and picked up the bus and I'm happy to report that the ceiling looks so much better you can see those thin little strips I don't know what the right word to use is they've put it in the cracks um, yeah I think it looks way better so I'm very happy with the outcome and then we jumped in the bus and drove back to the farm I was so excited to have the bus back. I was hanging out for it and the first thing I did was clean it out because in all honesty, it was a little bit filthy and I wanted it nice and clean before I put all my bits and pieces in there. Next up was making the bed. I put on a nice warm woolen underlay because I really feel the cold and I knew that I was going to the Flinders Ranges for my next stop, which was going to be very fresh. classic farm life before long I saw dad pull up out the front of my house he needed a hand to move some sheep so I went and did that and cleaned the sheep's trough while I was there and then the next morning during my morning walk I decided right oh it's time it's time to pack up my bus I'm heading off in my bus, not tomorrow, but the next day. So I'm going to start packing a few things in the bus now to save a last minute rush like I normally do when I head off. Tell you what, a clothes like washing basket is really handy <laughs> for taking stuff from the house outside to the bus. Let's do this. Okay, so I keep my food in this cupboard here and also keep quite a bit in the fridge. Oh, I actually need to give that a clean up. I'll do that next. Little rundown of what I get. And we've got a bike helmet. I need that because I pack my bike in here. I'll show you that later. But anyhow, I've got my spices that I know I can jazz up any kind of meals with. So paprika, coriander, cumin, rosemary. Oh, I love my little spice rack. And then I've got my almond milk. I've got a barista almond milk as well in case I feel like a hot chocolate or something. Maple syrup, olive oil, black beans. I love doing Mexican type beans with black beans. And then crushed tomatoes, you can do so much with them. Curry paste, coconut milk, tuna, all the stuff that keeps for a long time. And I know it's versatile. I can make all sorts of goodness with it. Okay, so we've got Miss Coco Bella's stuff as well. I normally have all Coco's stuff in this tub and just place it in the shower here. So it's just like dog food, dog nuts. I need her harness, her lead, the dog poo bags. And I have this big red lead that doesn't get tangled. Look at all these bags uh, that I tie to the side of the bus and Coco can just chill outside, which works really well. So whilst we are talking about Coco's stuff in the shower, this is my shower in the bus. So there we go. I store my toiletries there. I'll put my toothbrush and moisturizers and stuff like that in there. I do have a porta potty, which is super handy, especially just at night when I don't want to leave the bus because I'm in here solo. Uh, and then we've got Coco's stuff and there will be more stuff added in here as I continue to pack. Okay, so this here is just behind the driver's seat and as you can see, I have my backpack. This is really handy for when I go on hikes or if I jump on my push bike and ride somewhere. My waterproof jacket, I love hiking, comes in very handy. 
a hat should always have a hat as well and then I pack a few books and crystals my singing bowl a few bits and pieces from inside I tell you what wherever there is a patch of sun in the bus you will find Cocobella On the side of the fridge at the end of my bed here, this is kind of like a little sacred space. I have some crystals, I have a deck of oracle cards, and I have words or quotes that inspire me and remind me to be wildly me. And then we have more kitchen stuff to put in the bus. You'll see there is a toaster. I'm sure lots of bus life people would be thinking, why do you have a toaster? I don't have gas in the bus. I think I will be plugged into power quite a bit, but who knows, this may change. As far as storing my clothes go, I'm quite lucky. I've got this little wardrobe set up and I keep a picnic rug there on top. You'll see inside here there's lots of space and there's even a full length mirror as well. I also keep some clothing under the bed in a container along with my yoga mats and other bits and pieces. And then there is my bike that comes with me as well. It's really handy when I'm parked up somewhere at a camp spot. I can cruise around on my bike instead of packing up my bus to go somewhere. In order to fit my bike in the bus, I just need to remove the front tire. And I place the front tire under my bed. It's out the way, very convenient. And then I bring in the rest of the bike and I strap it to the table. And there we have it, the bike is secure in the bus and ready to go. And look, I am the first to admit that my packing skills could really improve. <laughs> All the leftover bits and pieces get put in the shower space here. It does the trick. Packing the bus always takes way longer than I expect, but I'm finally done. Oh, I've got to pack my dog, Coco. Coco, come here. Pack the dog and I'm ready to go. I am sitting in my bus doing the final little edits to this YouTube video that you have just watched. I realized that towards the end of that YouTube video, it just got to a stage where I wanted to hit the road and I kind of stopped filming. But I have now been in the Flinders Ranges for the past week and I have been filming content next YouTube video. So that will be up very soon. I'll be sharing details around what it's like working from my bus here in the Flinders Ranges along with some beautiful hikes I've done around here, places to see, all that kind of stuff. So I will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.